All right, we're back to another paper activity. In the first paper activity, you should have created a paper model of the full coronavirus, including the spherical envelope, the membrane, the spike proteins on the outside, and a little hole that's ready to add some genetic information, which we'll be doing in actually the next video. In this video, we're gonna talk a little bit about how this coronavirus attaches to the host cell and gets inside of it. A coronavirus accomplishes this mainly by using the spike proteins that cover the exterior of the coronavirus. The spike proteins can undergo a conformational change, that means a change in the overall shape of the protein, and that allows the receptor binding domain, a specific part of the spike protein, to be exposed and available to bind to the ACE2 receptor, which is on the surface of the host cell membrane. Again, the first step is to print out the PDF template that we've provided. And again, this is available in color and black and white, as well as drawing instructions if you don't have access to a 2D printer at your house. So first, start by cutting this template out. Anywhere that there's a dotted line, you're gonna wanna cut on. Again, we're gonna speed up this footage so you don't have to watch me cutting and taping all afternoon. So when you're done, you're left with a few components. Let's start with this piece over here. This is actually going to fold up into our host cell membrane. So the first thing we're going to do is fold each one of these little rectangles here down. That will give us our membrane with a little bit of view of the side of it where that phospholipid bilayer is visible. If you want, you can add a little piece of tape to the corners here, but it's not necessary. We're going to then go and fold right on the solid line of this gray part. This is going to make up the base for our phospholipid bilayer. And then using a single piece of tape, you can add one piece of tape to hold that base onto both sides of the phospholipid bilayer. This will then sit comfortably on a table. We're next going to add our ACE proteins to this membrane. So the ACE2 protein is essentially a protein that sits embedded in the host cell membrane. So all you have to do is line it up just about like that and add a piece of tape to hold it on. And we actually are going to do four of these. One for each side of our host cell membrane. Two. three, and you'll notice there's a little slice we put in right here on this side of this membrane. We're going to get to that in a minute, but I'm not going to cover it up. I'm going to make my ACE2 receptor just next to it there. And then this last one, this last ACE2, you just gently fold so it's got a little bend in it, and this one's going to slide directly into that little cut we put into our host cell membrane. So it's going to go in right like that. And that way you have one sticking up kind of right in the middle. And the reason we're putting more than one on here is because that's really what our cell membranes have. They have lots of these ACE2 receptors all over them. Next, we're going to be looking at our coronavirus. If you remember, we made our envelope, and we covered it in spike proteins. But these spike proteins undergo a really neat little conformational change when they get close to an ACE2 receptor. This little area here, if we put a bend in it, starts like that, but then pops up conformationally changes when one of our spike proteins gets close to the ACE2 receptor. So you can just simply replace one of the regular spike proteins that we had put on here with one of these ones that can now show this conformational change. And that is how the coronavirus then attaches to our ACE2 receptor. It will come in, that spike protein will undergo a conformational change, and it will bind onto there, allowing this coronavirus now to attach to the host cell membrane and puncture a hole 
so the genetic information can get out of the virus and enter the host cell. So by the end of this activity, you should now have your coronavirus. You have a few of those spike proteins that have been flipped up and are ready to bind to our ACE2 receptor. And you have a little section of host cell membrane with the ACE2 proteins on them, just waiting for that coronavirus and all those spike proteins outside of it to bind and allow the genetic material to enter the host cell.